This is Twit. Well, we all know that batteries are a fire hazard, right? Well, airlines barely want you on board nowadays with your phone. Well, researchers might have a solution to you and your organization woes. That's right. Scientists have made a nearly invincible lithium iron battery. Now, you're wondering how invincible may it be? Well, it could be cut, bent, soaked, shot, and lit on fire, and it still powers up just fine. Sounds like something out of an infomercial. But we all know that lithium ion has a resilience uh, has a reliance on toxic flammable materials, which means that the smallest defect can actually result in exploding gadgets. Now, a team of researchers led by physicists at the John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory believe that they have a safer battery for you. Now, what's the secret? Well, to make an indestructible battery, it has to come down to its electrolyte. That's the actual chemical mixture that separates the positive and negative ends of the battery. Now, when you use a lithium ion battery, it's charged lithium ion particles travel through a barrier in the electrolyte from the anode and to the cathode, where they undergo a chemical reaction and it actually produces energy. Now, most lithium ion electrolytes are actually a mixture of flammable lithium salts and toxic liquids, which means that in today's lithium ion chemistry, you have a recipe for a disaster or a fire. Now, if the permeable barrier that separates the cathode from the anode crumbles, it actually creates a short circuit and a whole lot of heat. Now, with all this heat, it's actually highly flammable material like lithium ion electrolyte next to oxygen rich cathode in the battery. You got a flaming electronic device on your hands. Now, Aquios batteries avoid all of these problems with electrolytes that are water-based and therefore both non-flammable and actually non-toxic. Now, by increasing the concentration of lithium salts and mixing the electrolyte with a polymer, a material resembling a very soft plastic, researchers can bump the electric potential from around 1.2 volts up to 4 volts, which is actually comparable with commercial lithium-ion batteries today. Now, during tests, the team has submerged the device in salt water Cut it with scissors, used an air cannon to simulate a ballistic impact, and lit it on fire. And through each one of these tests, the battery actually kept pumping out electricity. And after one trial by fire, the charred portion that was cut off actually continued to operate normally for about 100 hours. Now, if you're wondering about the future of batteries, EVs, and other battery-powered devices, you may have just heard it's possible fortune. <laughs> 